Trump, he will not back down with Savannah and Matt today on Today. He won't apologize for his campaign manager, only the latest controversy in a campaign that continues to shake up the Republican Party. Washington Post editorial columnist Michael Gerson served as a speechwriter for President George W. Bush and joins me now from D.C. Michael, thanks very much for being with us. Good uh, to be with you. How damaging do you think this campaign has been already to the Republican Party? Well, I think really damaging. I mean, the party itself is in the midst of a massive internal decision, whether it should be the party it has been or a party characterized by nativism and protectionism and isolationism, really a fundamental change in the nature of the party itself. It's like Republicans in 1968 being confronted with nominating George Wallace. It's that big. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, it's not going to end well either way with a, with a nominee that changes the party fundamentally or with a, uh, a brokered convention that takes it away from him, and he will not be happy. And in fact, you've got the other two Republicans, including Trump now, but also Kasich and Cruz, suggesting last night that they no longer feel bound by the pledge to support the nominee, which is a reflection of the dismay that they, in fact, are feeling against the front runner. Yes, I, I think it's a deep disagreement on the future of the party, which I, I don't think is reconcilable in the normal methods of politics. But I mean, Donald Trump, some of his supporters like Newt Gingrich, even Ann Coulter, are also realizing they were thinking he would make a pivot or a shift, become more presidential after the messiness of the early primary season. He's not capable of making a switch or changing his tone. You know, the, we are left with the fifth grade bully. And that, I think, is not going to change, as we see in this current controversy. I was really struck last night by his exchange with Anderson Cooper when Anderson Cooper was trying to pin him down on the wives battle, and he was accusing Ted Cruz of being behind the picture of Melania Trump, despite Cruz's denials, and he said, well, he started it. Yeah. And, you know, Anderson Cooper said, that's what a five-year-old would say. And Trump said, but yeah. he started it. He couldn't get out of that, excuse me, but that five-year-old uh, sort of playground uh, defense that the other well, kid like, started it. Well, it's that level of moral reasoning that says, if someone else says something, then I'm released from all restrictions. I can engage in misogyny. I can engage in bullying behavior and threats, which he has done across this campaign. He really thinks this is a, you know, a get out of jail free card that he can do anything he wants if he considers it to be defensive. And that has really draw, or brought down the entire campaign. Uh, MSNBC has also reported that Marco Rubio has now asked state parties in 21 states and territories to refrain from releasing any of the 172 delegates that he won, uh, mm -hmm. those so-called zombie delegates that Cruz has been going after and Trump is now going after with his new team, uh, saying that he wants that leverage, even though he's no longer a candidate. Well, I think he wants to play a role in the Republican future and in a convention that, that might be um, an open convention. Um, it's going to be wild, and who knows how these things turn out. Um, but, I, you know, he wants to play a role going forward. And that was my colleague Ari Melber's uh, exclusive reporting as well on Marco Rubio. Uh, as we say, uh, what a mess this has become <laughs> indeed for the Republican Party and for the candidates, the Senate and congressional candidates as well. Michael Gerson, thanks as always. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.